Hey everyone, so to add a new keyboard, you go into General Keyboards, Add New Keyboard, and then you select what language you're wanting. So I'll just scroll down here and select Korean. As you can see, there's quite a few that you can actually have, so um, it's up to you. Then you go back and you can now see that we've got two keyboards. Now for the typing, I'm going to be using Notes on the iPad, it just comes as standard. So I've got a folder called Study Korean and I just create a new note. And as you can see, the keyboard is automatically populated to Korean. Now, if you don't know what each of the letters are, um, you'll need to obviously learn those, which is a, a good practice. Um, obviously, you can't put stickers on your keyboard, on your iPad, so it is a case of just learning. Uh, to go to English again, you just press the little world icon, and then you can see we go back to being the English keyboard. And that's basically it, how to do it directly onto your iPad. You just flip between the two. And when you're typing, it'll actually join up, when it's a word, it'll actually join up correctly so that it's the correct way of writing it. I'm just doing it in individual letters to show you the difference um, on how they move between easily by pressing the button. And so that's it for your iPad. Now, if you've got an external keyboard or an additional keyboard, like I've got the Allogic Tech, basically you press the FN button and the INS button, which is the high the volume button. And it takes a wee while, but if you press the two of them together at the same time, you'll see that it comes up with the two menus. One for, it came up a bit fast there, comes up with the two and you just go between the arrows. It comes up with Korean or it comes up with the English. And then you just type away. So if you want to leave it in English, just leave it as is. If you want to change it to Korean and keep it as Korean, you just keep it and you type away and it will come up. And it will do the same thing. If you're creating a word, it will set it out in the correct way. And basically that's it. Now you can get stickers. I got these free in the BTS books that I got, but um, I might not use them. I might just keep them for reference. But there you go. That's how you add a keyboard. Thanks for watching.